Hey there, Blade fans. Welcome back. This old sword here with... Oh, well, you asked me for a small f a small fixed blade, or was that a small folder? Gee, um, this is all I could come up with. <laughs> Big reveal. We have here the Cohen's Craft made by Mar uh, Morgan Cohen's. I was going to say Marvin. Yeah, it's early again. <laughs> The Commando. This was just in and uh, waited a while for this to come to me from Canada, from Morgan Cohen's. And this was handmade in his shop, custom made, to uh, some of my exact specs. And we worked back and forth on this quite a bit. Um, this is a Nitro V blade hardened to about 60 Rockwell and obviously you can see from the design and the uh, tiger stripes on the blade that it is meant to be a military style combat blade um, I don't plan on using it in such a scenario hopefully fortunately but it is a amazing collector's piece and this is my fourth creation from Morgan Cohen's and Cohen's Craft up there in Ontario, Canada. Look at this blade. And I was going to have him use the rock pattern on the handle, but um, he contacted me and said, you know, are you, you really, uh, you really set on having that rock pattern done? Uh, and by the way, Morgan doesn't like to do duplicates or um, copies of knives. He'll do one or maybe two. Uh, on a Bowie he did, um, he had done two of them at once and sold them both immediately, one of which was to me. Anyway, he said, I got a different idea for a pattern, and look what he came up with. Look at this real interesting, almost like sediment, sedimentary rock sedimentary rock like I said it's early pattern uh, which he hand did with a Dremel and I've got actually photos of him creating the handles we've got a beautiful dark blood red liner that I had requested again uh, as I said the blade is Nitro V uh, there is Morgan's Cohen's craft um, logo we've got it on both sides as a matter of fact and it is a big knife. It's seven and a half inch blade right to there. We're going to measure it up in a moment. Full size handle and although it's not real thick of a handle, it is fairly tall and I do like handles that fill my hand. I've got medium large hands and um, this is a large blade so let me see if I can back out a little bit more and uh, maybe even a little more. Yeah, right to about there. Okay. So, um, got something on the side I don't want to reveal just yet. Um, on his handles, he likes to do these little uh, half moon cutouts. I noticed that's on quite a few of his blades. Uh, so, as I say, a large blade, pretty good weight to it. We're going to get into that. Uh, hopefully, my scale will handle it although I've got a postal scale that'll go with heavier ones but yeah he does this um, really beautiful kind of smoke tiger pattern on the blade we've seen this before <coughs> excuse me from a number of both uh, production manufacturers as well as custom knife makers it is extremely comfortable in the hand sharpen top edge with just a little bit of spine that's unsharpened here. No jimping, he doesn't do a lot of jimping. He'll do a heavy jimping with a chainsaw uh, sharpening file, but that is about it. So I decided to just leave that smooth. You may or may not put your thumb up on there. The top guard, if you want to call it a guard, is so small that it doesn't really interfere with laying the thumb on top. But 
What have we got? Get way back down here. We've got a 13 inch knife with, as I said, a seven and a half inch blade. And if we look at some of the other dimensions, such as the blade thickness in millimeters, we've got almost a five millimeter blade. Let's see, yeah, 4.9. And in inches, it works out to be 0.19. And handle thickness 0.75. So 0.75, uh, three quarters of an inch for uh, a big fixed blade, is actually on the thinner side. I've I've had uh, folding knives that are uh, thicker handled than that on occasion. Let's see what we've got for a weight. There we go. Might be a little heavy for the scale, let's find out. Nope, it's gonna weigh it. So we've got a weight of this knife of 14.6 ounces. And while that is significant, it is not yet a pound, and it is a big fixed blade. Now, here's the thing with uh, Morgan's knives. When you get them, you're not going to have a sheath. That's going to be up to you, whether you go Kydex or whether you go leather or a combo of the two. I'm still considering what to go with uh, a couple other knives that I have from him. Um, and you may say, well, that's a downside. You know, I, I don't want to order a knife without a sheath. And I get that. But some knife makers simply don't make sheaths. It's tough enough making the knife and a lot of work goes into it. And uh, they're not all expert sheath makers, although many of them are. So, and many are going with Kydex. Uh, leather is a whole different craft. And uh, Nixon Leather has been recommended to me. You can find them on Facebook. That's been recommended to me, and I've seen some absolutely gorgeous work coming out of uh, uh, that Michigan shop. You can find them on Facebook, as I said. Morgan's work. Um, is defined, I would say, by a single feature besides the perfect grinds. And that feature is that giant fuller. You'll see that on so many of his knives, even some of the smaller knives. Okay, comparison time. I think we got all the measurements in. Comparison time, here is the previously acquired Cohen's Craft Bowie. And you can see that this is about three quarters of an inch longer than the Bowie. Um, if we bring in some other brands here, by the way, the Bowie's a beautiful knife too. And that's another one in need of a sheath up the line. Let's uh, go to a comparable size knife. Um, here is the uh, Viking Tactics fixed blade their large fixed blade that's actually a tops knife designed by Viking tactics and you can see it's a large knife but uh, wow look at it next to the commander commando it's uh, not as tall and it's not as long but it is still a large blade of what is it now six inches it looks like yeah six inches just about now that's the Norseman I believe is what they're calling that Viking Tactics Norseman here we have a Tkel knife and I'm running out of room because of the size of these things that's the Mercenary by Tkel and certainly I thought that was a large knife I think that's coming in around, uh, what, five and a half inches or so? Nope. Just a little, yeah, five and three quarters. Big knife, thin handle, comfortable, very tough. Choil up in there. A little more of a field knife, military knife, working knife. And for final comparison here, just for relationship. There's the Street Beat by Spyderco. Obviously a smaller knife, but obviously 
a little more concealable. <laughs> One of my favorite small knives. Small fixed blades, that is. Well, let's take a final look at this beauty by Cohen's Craft. Uh, by the way, you can find Morgan on Instagram. Uh, DM him if you're interested in something, either that he posts or something you'd like to have him make, and he will take orders. And I must say, he turns these knives out very quickly. I've had him produce a knife within a week, while some custom makers, you know, they could take a year. And uh, certainly that doesn't mean these are any less... He does his own heat treating and um, his own sharpening. And uh, while we're at it, let's see how sharp this blade is. All right, we'll give it a go. I don't have a lot of room here. And hopefully we can stroke this the right way. Wow. As you can see, Well, wrong angle. <laughs> it's pretty much a laser. And on a large fixed blade, you do not always want a razor's edge because that edge can become a little too fine. And, you know, if you're really using this thing, you're going to beat on it a little bit. So you want that edge to hold up. But Top edge, um, I'm not going to demo that, is definitely sharp, but a little less sharp because you can see it's a steeper angle than the lower edge because the grind is more shallow, right? It's a little off-center grind by intention. It's a, he refers to this as a saber grind, and... It is uh, a bayonet style blade in that uh, it's not fully sharpened all the way back to the handle. But there you have it. That is the Commando by Cohen's Craft. Um, these are coming in around 450. That's 450. And uh, that is not a bad price for a custom knife. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. We'll be back with more soon.